Hi hey everyone, um, I want to discuss, uh, I'll probably make a couple of videos tonight, um, I'm going to talk about the crown, uh, crowns of righteousness, and, uh, yes. behind it, and all that, um, the Bible talks about crowns, and, and, and give some examples with some scriptures, and, uh, also, about how um, I found a couple. I found this website that talks about the crown of righteousness in the Bible, and um, I'll be taking it from that. And I'll post the link into the description of the website that I found. And like I said, now I will go uh, to first talking about crowns. What the Bible talks about when it comes to the crowns and and king um, and the different um, examples of crowns in the Bible and um, Second Samuel verse ten. I really need to like invest in one of these things to find that. I, I, I need to get a coming next, so pardon me. Um, second Samuel. Now, um, sorry that I haven't posted any, any videos. The Lord is really working on me and working on doing so many things right now and what's supposed to me to my heart wanted me to do do this video and another video about how the blood of Jesus is the only thing that can cover all sins. So I'll be doing a video about that. Uh, about um the cleansing of of our sins through the blood of Jesus, and now that's the only way that, that our sins can be forgiven. Let's do that. So now on to 2 Samuel 1.10, which reads, So I stood upon him and slew him, because I was sure that he could not live after that he was fallen. And I took the crown that was upon his head, and the bracelet that was on his arm, and I have brought them hither unto my Lord. Well, from my Bible, it's that this, you know, from the first, first chapter in Second Samuel, it talks about, oh, David learns of the death of Saul and Jonathan, he, lit, he slays the Amalekite who claims to have killed Saul. And David laments passing with Saul and Jonathan with a song. Um, it's one example of cramps. Now, um, the second one is Second Samuel twelve thirty. And it came to pass while they were in the way what that tidings came to David, saying, Absalom has slain all the king's sons, and there is not one of them left. Sorry, wrong scripture, but that, that's really important. Okay, here it is. Second Samuel 12, 30. And he took their king's crown from off his head, and the weight whereof was a talent of gold with the precious stones, and it was set on David's head, and he brought forth the spoil of the city in great abundance. That's another um, sample of crown. So you can get an idea, there's different, uh, um, so it's, different ways of people, of people have gotten crowns. Um, 
Now, that's not to say it's always the most positive way and the most fulfilling way, but it is within God's will that these things happen. And I will read from Psalms 8 5. And he talks about uh, King Son putting a crown on him. Let's get to that. Uh, some size eight. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Yeah, and then it goes into Hebrews 2 9. I read it from my cell phone. I have an app on my Blackberry that um, enables me to read the scriptures and I can get to them a little quicker because I, sometimes I, I forget where they are at. Um, so, two nine. But we see Jesus who has made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death and crowned with glory and honor that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. And, like I said, you know, I think what, they both act like a crown, crown, crowns of righteousness, and, and, um, grace says that they will be crowned, those that endure, and will be, I'm pretty sure, if correct me if I'm wrong, you guys can post this to, as a comment, that he, uh, said that those that endure will be crowned with crowns of righteousness. Um, and, and I'll, um, so that gives you an idea about crowns. Now, the crown of righteousness is something that only the Father can give his children. Now, I'm going to put in here um, to talk about righteousness. And then after that, I'll talk about um, the crowns of righteousness. I want to talk about getting an idea of crowns, what crown, what simple uh, uh, crowns there. And also, okay give you guys a little information on righteousness as well. Righteousness. To Genesis, I will read from Genesis Genesis fifteen six about um, righteousness. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted to him, it to him for righteousness. And it's Romans 4, 3. For well, what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. He didn't. That's another example of righteousness. Um, so, let's go back to Leviticus, uh, chapter 19, 15.
And it says, you shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. That thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. So we should be judging our neighbor by righteousness. Um, in 1 Samuel 26, 23, there's another um, example of righteousness. But this, the righteousness that's being talked about in this scripture is the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it says, The Lord rendered to every man his righteousness and his faithfulness. For the Lord delivered thee unto my hand today. But I would not stretch forth my hand against the Lord's anointed. Okay. I'll read a couple more scriptures on righteousness. And it's Psalms 36, 6. And In Isaiah fifty nine seventeen, and these um, in Psalm thirty six six says that righteousness is like the great mountains; thy judgments are a great deep. O Lord, thou preservest man and beast. I believe David was talking about um the Lord's righteousness and and how how big it is and how much how much it is and how, and how his judgments are deep um, and that he preserves both man and animal. Now in Isaiah 59 17 says, For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and the helmet of salvation upon his head and he put the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. Um, I haven't get this far into Isaiah just yet, and I'm really working on that. Um, his righteousness, and you know, we should be putting that the right, the breastplate, breastplate righteousness. Um, and, you know, it's a spiritual garment that we should always be wearing. And the helmet of salvation is 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 a gift from the Savior, you know, from God the Father and the Holy Spirit. Being that they all are one. And for um, Christ said, I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. I will find the scripture where he says that. Sorry for this guy's name. 